I've recently had a ton of brand new financial coaches reach out to me, hey friends, wanting my insight and advice about building a successful financial coaching business. So in today's video, I want to outline four specific pieces of insight for you as a new financial coach, whether it's a local practice, an online business, or more of a hybrid like my own business, zerodebtcoach.com. Here are the four insights rapid fire, and then we'll dig into more detail in just a second. One, be patient with yourself. Two, don't quit your day job just yet. Number three, a word about the financial coach master training and preferred coaching program. And number four, how to deal with imposter syndrome. And make sure you stick around to the end of the video for a free financial coaching resource that will help you organize and conduct your initial coaching sessions with ease, structure, and confidence. Well, let's get into it. It's Brad Long here with Zero Debt Coach, where we help five and six figure corporate burnouts escape their nightmare by teaching them how to effectively organize and optimize their financial lives, obliterate their debt, and accelerate toward financial independence by starting and growing an online business. So maybe you've just completed Dave Ramsey's Financial Coach Master Training and you're entering into his preferred coaching program or you've just decided to strike out and start helping people on your own as a financial coach. Either way, I'm excited for you and I want to help you get your financial coaching business off the ground successfully with as little friction as possible. So let's talk about what to expect as a new financial coach. Starting a financial coaching practice is exciting. Uh, you've more than likely accomplished a big, hairy, audacious financial goal, and now you wanna share how you did it with the world so that they can do it too. Or you might be in the process of accomplishing your big, hairy, audacious financial goal, and you're excited about sharing that process. Either way, with 78% of the population living paycheck to paycheck, there are tons of people that need, one, your help, two, your insight, and three, the particular way you deliver your message. But as you're getting started, there are some certain and somewhat harsh realities I want for you to be aware of so that you can develop a somewhat proactive mindset and set some realistic expectations for how to respond and navigate through them. The point of all of this is to help you build a long-term sustainable financial coaching business that will serve both your students and you well for decades to come. All that said, here are four things to keep in mind as you get started. One, be patient with yourself. It's probably gonna take some time to get things going. Rome wasn't built in a day. It's normal. Just keep learning, keep growing, keep helping people, and don't give up. Figuring out your avatar, which is marketing speak for the target of your particular brand of coaching, is probably gonna take some time. And we all start out wanting to serve everyone, but you'll begin to see pretty quickly that that strategy will only last for so long before you start to burn yourself out. You are going to kiss a lot of frogs in this process. Unfortunately, many of the people that need you the most will not be willing to pay you what you're worth or be willing to take the process serious as seriously as they should. It's okay, there are people that will, you just have to be patient and simultaneously become more adept at finding those particular people. Number two, don't quit your day job just yet. I'm not sure what kind of expectations they're setting in the training that you've gone through, but I want to set the expectation for you that making a full-time living as a coach can be extremely challenging and take a long time, especially if you're trading time for for money in terms of exclusively coaching one-to-one. -one. You have to really sit down and do the math here. How many students do you need to take on? How much do you need to charge? What will your coaching cadence with these students look like? What kind of resources do you need to have in place for them? There are many more questions like these that you'll need to ask yourself as you move forward. Again, it's okay that you don't have all the answers. Be patient and look at every interaction you're having with your students as a learning experience. And I will say, in full disclosure, I'm actually not sure how realistic it is to just have a more local one-to-one -one type of coaching practice that is actually profitable. I was part Part of the Dave Ramsey preferred coaching program right out of financial coach master training myself and I learned pretty quickly just how hard it is to monetize just as a like they call kneecap to kneecap coach early on I, I learned that I needed to have a mix of revenue sources so my business has developed into a mix of revenue from one-to-one -one coaching students digital products and affiliate commissions for products that I recommend to my audience so keep all that in mind and be flexible
about how you monetize your business moving forward. Real quick, if you're into this kind of content, a free way you can support us is by giving us a thumbs up or by double smashing the thumbs down and leaving us a comment letting us know what you had for breakfast. And hit the subscribe button if you're liking what you see. Number three, a few words about the financial coach master training and the preferred coaching program. FCMT is great for learning the actual coaching process, but in my experience, it's really light on how to be a small business owner and almost null in the area of how to be an online entrepreneur. So keep educating yourself and keep pushing forward. One of the harsh truths I had to learn is that people actually don't care about our certifications or any other external coaching qualifications or any kind of training we've been through or have paid tons of money for. No, what people, what your students care about is the results that you can deliver for them. So you must start positioning yourself out of the gate as a results oriented coach and outline very specifically what you can do for them. For example, after coaching hundreds of students over the past decade, I can confidently promise a new potential student that some very common results they can expect when they work with us is, one, they will at least find, save, or earn $1,000 to $2,000 within their first 30 days of working with us. Two, they will pay off, save, or invest an additional five to $6,000 in their first 90 days. And three, they'll possess a solid continuation plan with encouragement, accountability, and community as a result of our interaction. I'll be producing much more content about my journey as both a financial coach as well as an online entrepreneur. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned to learn more about how you can do that for yourself. Number four, imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome is best characterized by the feeling of inadequacy about your abilities as a coach and is most accurately manifested in the following question. Well, who am I to be doing, teaching, saying this, and why would anyone listen to me? Trust me on this, no matter where you are in the process or how long you've been coaching, you're going to deal with imposter syndrome, likely fueled by your own natural self-doubt and by the endless trolls on social media that often seem to have access to these natural scripts that we all have running in our head. Best advice is to ignore imposter syndrome and the trolls and just focus on helping your people. Do something in the direction of your goals every day and you'll automatically defeat imposter syndrome, no matter how you feel about it. So those are the four things. Real quick, let me know in the comments section below which one of these will be the one you struggle with the most as a new financial coach. And like I said earlier, the point of all of this is to help you build a long-term sustainable financial coaching business that will serve both your students and you well for decades to come. Now, as promised, I wanted to offer you a gift for sticking around. Whether you're just starting out as a financial coach or you're looking to next level your coaching process, you can download my free coaching call presentation guide. This is the exact presentation I use for my initial coaching calls and will give you everything you need to outline your own process so that you can set proper expectations with your students and conduct yourself in the call with both agility and confidence. And it's my free gift to you as a thanks for watching. Now, if you're just starting out and not sure how you're going to develop your own voice and communicate with your financial coaching avatar or ideal student, I encourage you to head over to zerodeckcoach.com and click on the free guides button. This will take you to my library of free guides and principles that will help you gather some ideas of your own. Plus, when you download one of the guides, you'll be added to my email list and you can use that as an opportunity to see how I communicate with my list and start developing some ideas of your own. How can Zero Debt Coach help you? Four ways. One, subscribe to the channel and click the notifications bell to make sure you get our new videos every week. Two, download one of our free personal finance guides. You'll learn some of the exact strategies I teach my private financial coaching students on how to organize and optimize their finances, obliterate their debt, and move on to financial independence by starting and growing an online business. Number three, if you're looking for a community of motivated and like-minded people, go ahead and get on the wait list to join Join our private financial coaching community. We only open it for new students a couple of times a year, so make sure you get on the wait list for that. And number four, if you need some help right now because you've got a burning issue, you need a problem solved, you want to talk through a complex situation, go to zerodeckcoach.com and click on the Become a Student button. And finally, check out one of these videos and keep building your financial acumen. Let's make this your best year yet. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.